All right. Well, let's check out another video. See what else we've got. All right. Now, this next one, Duisenberg, is that the, the right? Okay. I'm just checking with Rob. Um, this is a. This is probably the coolest thing uh, I've seen come back because I, I wasn't. I didn't go to Frankfurt, and the other guys went to Frankfurt. Okay. And uh, when they came back, this is probably the coolest thing that I saw that was out there. Um, this is a pedal steel guitar that has no pedals. Here, I'll just watch it. You'll see. Interesting. Say what? <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to the floor of Music Mess 2007. I'm Rob Warmowski and we're here in the Duesenberg booth. And I'm uh, speaking with Martin, uh, the uh, player for Duesenberg. And also Martin, uh, I'm sorry, what was your last name, Martin? Hutch, Martin Hutch. Martin uh, helped design uh, the uh, uh, Duesenberg Double Cats uh, uh, pedal system. And we just heard, uh, we had a chance to hear him play and uh, it uh, sounds like an amazing slide guitar. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, how you got a slide guitar sound out of a uh, string uh, or normal electric guitar. Yeah, it's very simple with this system to get, uh, for instance, this guitar is now tuned to E major. If you engage both pedals to get to come to an A major. And that means it's the same as the two main pedals of the pedal steel guitar. And, uh, and the uh, uh, mechanism there, this is a rocker mechanism? Yes. It's developed by Duesenberg guitars. Very nice. And uh, so, so you go from E major to A major, and is that G maybe or no? You no, know, you can get even uh, minor chords on a, on a major tuning. I'm gonna show it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a look. Real nice stuff, real nice stuff. Thank you. Sounds. And it's quite simple to learn compared to a pedal steel. You need a very expensive instrument and 10 years of practice. And, th and this is to be checked in, in two, two weeks. It's very simple. Terrific. Well, thank you very much for that. You're welcome. So this is the, the three uh, sort of pedal, uh, hand pedal um, version that goes up to five pedal. And this is called the multi-bender, the Duesenberg multi-bender, I believe it's called. And um, yeah, basically you can ret you can retrofit your guitar with it and basically turn it into a uh, pedal steel. Which so I they, think they is sell the awesome. system itself and not just they the will be they will okay. be. This is this is a newer newer thing, a newer invention. It's kind impressive. Of. Yeah, it's definitely very I mean, cool. It's a big step from what technology was around prior to, which is just like drop D, mm -hmm. you know, types of. Uh, bridges things like that that'll like the yeah and Parker I mean, flies they used to and I mean drop pe pedal deep. steels are extremely expensive as mm -hmm. well and this thing can't say for sure just yet but it's probably going to be under three hundred dollars wow and nice. um I'll buy one. I believe this version uh fits to a telecaster perfectly easy really you know, if you have a telecaster bris on, on your guitar <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right so yeah I'm definitely thinking about picking one up I may have to get another guitar before I do that because I'm using all my guitars for, for certain things but um, I think this is definitely really cool and especially um, you know if you're just a, a guy who does music who has to do a lot of different types of music like say if you're doing st scoring or things like that you know having the sound of a pedal steel in your studio um, that you can play uh, without having to learn a, a semi new instrument right. a I new think guitar it's, tuning really essentially nice. that's basically yeah. all you have to uh, commit to Yeah, uh, that's pretty cool hmm. definitely Shall we move on? I, I think that uh, the only other thing that I saw that I thought was amazing, which you guys just uh, informed me was fake, was that uh, m new Moog uh, Moger oh, Foger. Yeah. <laughs> the the <laughs> FM. FM mixer? Yeah. Yeah. I, you could totally tell, man, from the picture. No, I looked at it and I thought, I thought, wow, this looks legit. And I looked at it and I was <laughs> just like. Release on April 1st. 
Oh, oh well. <laughs> April Fools. <laughs> Mo gotcha. Still, I was pretty pissed. That's that sounds like an awesome idea, though. <laughs> if it's possible. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> really? so, certain certain places, certain places were, uh, you know, kind of putting it out there as actual news, like okay. as actual press releases. I, I could, and, and which you know, certain I places saw, were those? Um, so <laughs> I don't know if I'm at liberty to say. Okay. Uh, how could I say that? Um, um, how could? <laughs> how could we say something like that? I don't know. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> anyway. 